We have a solution for flooding and drought mitigation and we wanted to pilot it uh, here in Isiolo and um, slam dam, the solution for both uh, flooding and drought is a rubber dam uh, made from EPDM material that is filled with water, flood water and then uh, it forms a locking system that creates a barrier uh, and it protects the communities and the agricultural land from flooding. So later on, after the floods, you know, the water inside the dam can be used for irrigation during the drought period. That's why it, I said it was a flood, both flood and drought mitigation. So we, uh, at first we talked with some of our partners, including SNV, and we chose Isiolo as a, as a pilot uh, area because it experiences both flooding and drought. Um, so here we came on the day, we have a community with us. Uh, we have the Rua Association in Isiolo. We also have some of the government agencies that deal with disaster management. And uh, we have actually seen uh, the community deploying the slum dam. They've filled it with water from the river and it has formed an interlocking barrier. And uh, they've seen how it can also, we can also remove the water from the pump and use it for irrigation. Quite easy actually. It needs at least two people. It doesn't need any skill, no degree is needed. You just need to lay down the EPDM material pump in the water, lock the dams, and afterwards you just open the dams and suction the water, whether it's uh, like drip irrigation or we use um, pump to suction it for larger scale irrigation. So you really don't need manpower or skill, at least two people. Yes, it can store up to 10,000 liters a unit. A unit can store up to 10,000 liters. So the slum dam is put in, in units. So if you need, let's say, half a kilometer of slum dam, it will not come as one huge half a kilometer slum dam. It will come in units that store 10,000 10, liters of uh, five meters wide and, and, and two meters uh, width. Yeah. In, within the ASO area where we are in, uh, we have challenges in terms of uh, floods and droughts. Uh, they has become very, very, uh, you know, it become the season of the day. We are either in we are either experiencing a serious prolonged drought, and when the rains come, they're erratic. Uh, we have uh, flooding, and Isiolo is one of the areas where flooding is a big, big challenge. So we are coming with uh, our partners to uh, demonstrate uh, flood management uh, through slum dam technology, and hoping that uh, this is a technology that is going to be used to mitigate flooding uh, when other partners come in, the county government and other national governments. With the slum dam, uh, the communities have been able to mitigate and apply, deploy the slum dams, uh, making sure that the, flood, the, the areas, the fields where they are doing farming, is, they are not flooding and they are able to um, continue growing their crop. Uh, when it dries up, uh, the same water that has been torn, stored on the dams can be used to supplement irrigation to ensure that uh, the crops are able to finish for harvesting. So this has been done in Africa and Burundi. Uh, we have other cases in uh, Netherlands uh, applying the slum dam. Uh, the other day we were having discussions. Uh, it's also being, ha it's also being uh, applied in uh, UK. So it's already a technology that is becoming very, very practical in flood management. The area is very prone to floods and the village town of Isiolo. So we have to use the technology to use the county of Isiolo ifanya kazi na wafadhili labda uh, kwa vitu kama hizi slum dam uh, technologies uh, wanaweza kuzuia maji yale ambayo yanakuja kuharibu town na kuyadhibiti yaweza kurudi kwa mto na tunafikiria ya kwamba hiyo inaweza kuwa jinsi bora sana ya, ku, ya, ya kupigana na haya maji mengi ambayo yanakuja wakati ya mvua eh tungeweza tunaweza kufurahia kama wangetuletea tupate vitu ya kutumia Tupate kama ni hawa watu wa SNV maana wanafanya kazi na sisi na ndo na si wengine watusaidie tupate hii technology itusaidie kwa kujirisha na chakula bandara kuwa tunategemea mchanda ya chakula